Hey all, happy Friday. Welcome to a craft night with friends. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish where we make cute embroidery kits for beginners. And I'm here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time and it's a time that we can relax and craft together. Uh, tonight I'm going to start free motion quilting our ABC quilt. So we have uh, blocks A, B, and C done, uh, all embroidered up, and we had extra time this week, so we sandwiched them together last night. We have some backing fabric and the batting and the uh, uh, embroidery all uh, assembled with, basted with our uh, safety pins, and we're going to play with some free motion quilting. We haven't done this in a while. Might be good to just get practicing again. So I do have a practice piece, and then we will go ahead and start quilting right away. I'm excited for this process. All right, let's go, everyone. Okay, scooch you guys on over. So here we are. We are going to be uh, quilting our little fellers here uh, tonight. And uh, I am ready to go. We have everything set up already. Oh, actually, I did get one of these uh, So Steady. This is the grid glider. I thought we'd put this on our table first. So this is my extension table. Uh, it just raises basically the table to the height of my sewing machine. That makes it easy for me to... Um, I'm going to turn this off for a sec because that's just blinking. Uh, but I'm, it's going to make it easier for me to have a flat surface to work on versus just, you know, my little three inch surface there. And then this, I haven't really used one of these before. Uh, we tried it out a little bit, but the one that I got was broken, had like tears in it. So I got a new one, but I haven't, I haven't tried it yet. How do I even get it out of here? Jeez. There we go. Okay. <laughs> So this theoretically is supposed to make um, the surface smoother, like so it doesn't catch on anything, or fabric doesn't catch on anything or, or jerk around or anything. All right. Removable polyester hole pre -cut. Okay, so I, I think I know how to do this. I'm not going to bother. So it does have a little hole here. So that hole is supposed to go, and I, I haven't taken the plastic off. Ooh, see, this is what I was a little unsure about. Okay, so my neck is not long enough for this one. Um, so I guess I won't be putting this on the machine, boo! Um, I wonder if I could go this way. Although that doesn't give us like the benefit of over, over here. I suppose I could just cut it too. So, all right, that's something good to know for the future. Um, oh, look, it has little guides for a quarter of an inch on here and uh, three eighths of an inch and stuff too. Oh, so that's kind of cool. So I'll be able to line that up. That might be nice for uh, certain things. Um, so anyway, I will not be using this tonight because I think I just need to trim a little bit of it off, but I opened it. <laughs> so that's a start. So we'll, we'll get that going. Um, yeah, I just need to chop off. A, like a like three inches of it but we don't need it tonight we can work totally fine without it uh, but good to know then we can play with that later all right so here are the three designs we have the C done uh, the letter B the little butterfly and the alligator um, I think I'm gonna start with the letter C but before that I have my blank piece here and I thought maybe we should practice, do a little warm up. I'm actually gonna even remove this pin already. Um, so I, I'm assuming throughout the making of this quilt, I'll need a few more practice pieces, but we will see. And hold on a sec here. There we go. Need access to my, my foot pedal. Okay, so let's give this a go. I literally have not done any free motion quilting in ages so let's bring up our foot pedal here or our um, bobbin thread so I'm just stitching like one stitch and then pulling it up from the bottom and I should be able to capture it come on bobbin thread I see you there we are there, so now we have our bobbin thread and uh, the top thread 
up here. Man, it is, it's gonna be like this really pretty orange color. Uh, I just, I don't know why I started here, no reason. But all right, let's do a couple stitches. So the machine should all be set up from last time, I'm hoping, and that's why I wanna just give it a little test. And you know what, I'm even gonna stick my gloves on right away, pull up, pull up the sleeves. Um, this is, the, these are those gloves. I use them for cutting, but they also have like grips on the bottom. I think they're awesome. So let's just give this a try. What should I do first? I don't know, let's just do a squiggle. And you guys are gonna have to remind me to breathe again. Like I'm already like holding my breath. All right, so I think this is working. The bottom looks okay. So I'm gonna just practice a little bit more. I definitely need to um, like move slow and press the button faster. That's that, or press the um, feed dogs faster. That's the thing I always have to remember. I'm gonna just snip snip these threads away. We'll do that a little bit better later. Let's just, I kind of started this little flower design here. Let's just continue, continue uh, that. Okay, so faster with the foot pedal. And we're gonna be in like full concentration mode all night, I think. <laughs> all right, I gotta practice keeping my hands in the right direction. All right, I don't know, I gotta tell you, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm kind of ready to start this here. I'm going to get you guys in a little closer uh, tonight again here as well. So sorry for the shimmy sham a little bit, but uh, here we go. This is our, our little flower that we just stitched. And uh, just get some of these threads. I just want to check the front and the back. So this is the color that I'll be stitching um, all of these with though. So it does uh, show up a ton on this light colored fabric, but it's kind of the only thread I have right now <laughs> And I thought eh, why not go with it? I think it'll be kind of pretty with um, with our designs uh, I actually kind of like this flower. Maybe we do some of these. Oh, I was thinking of doing flowers with the butterfly one This is kind of fun. Just a little squiggle in the middle and turning it into a flower I, I like doing pictorial things. I'm not very good at getting in and out of spots <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see kind of how that that goes. Um, let's check it this side. That's gonna look fun on the back too. So that doesn't look half bad either. It's not like skipping stitches or anything. Dang, I think we're ready, people. Let's get cracking. Let's do it. Uh, so I'm gonna get that kitty design out right away. So um, the only thing I was kind of thinking with this is I'd kind of like to just echo around the shapes. Echoing is just when you kind of go, when you trace a shape, you just like are, are doing a similar um, edge as the edge that's already there. So like you're echoing, you're mimicking the shape. So I thought that might be a fun way to start and then maybe just um, uh, do some other things. Uh, Amy says, isn't this your granny square th quilt thread? I think I actually have another no it's not i have a i had a peak i have one more orange <laughs> so all, all the thread that i have left is orange this is the medium orange the granny square quilt thread is the lighter orange uh, which is still a pretty visible orange and then i also have a darker orange so we're doing the medium orange for this so yeah i don't know this will be a good warm-up too just i'm going to echo these shapes and then maybe we add some like swirls coming out of it or something i don't know and really ultimately we're only going to be stitching eight inches so uh we're going to be quilting this whole thing but we're going to cut it down to eight and a half inches 
So anything that's way on the outskirts, we're not going to see. So there's not really a ton of quilting to do. We might actually get a couple of these done tonight. I think this is going to be kind of fun. So let's let's just echo these shapes. I think that's a legitimate place to start. I think I'm going to go right here. And so now my my foot is a quarter inch foot. So really, I could get really specific with the um, echoing and really try and stay a quarter inch away. Maybe let's give that a try. It'll be good practice. All right, so I got to bring that um, bobbin thread to the top again here. And I'm going to try and keep my my piece straight here, but I don't think, you know, the nice, the beauty of uh, doing the quilt as you go process where I get a sew with smaller pieces is that um, really I could rotate this and move it around however I want but just for the sake of knowing that I'm not always going to be using um, using just like quilt as you go process and that I will have large quilts here that I am not going to turn I'm going to just practice quilting without turning it'll help me like visualize where to go next and stuff uh, Jennifer, it is not variegated cotton. It is just, um, it's an orange or a fill. Do you ever hit your finger with the needle? Never, Diana. That freaks me out. Um, I think there's enough guards in place. Although really I could get my, I have gotten like a sweater caught on it or like not, I haven't gotten my finger caught on the needle when it's in motion. <laughs> I think I have kind of nicked my finger on it, but not, not while sewing, just from like changing the needle and stuff. Okay. Isn't that, oh yeah, didn't, exactly. Amy, Amy says about the thread color. Oh, I just didn't want you to use it all up, <laughs> but that actually reminds me, I should actually uh, next time I, I want to work on the granny square quilt next time I'm at my parents and I should make sure to pack that thread with me whenever that happens. All right. So I'm just stitching a few stitches there just to get it going and let's go. Okay. I got to remember fast pedal and slower hands. Whew, all right. I'm breathing. Okay. Going around the yarn. So again, we're just echoing the shape of the of the embroidery here. And with with my quarter inch foot, that actually makes it really kind of easy to measure. So we'll just go boop right there. you out of the way. All right, I'm going to get these little threads quick here. I'm just going to snip them. Uh, so now I got a, like a choice to make. I don't want to really go all the way in here. Maybe I'll just kind of arc out. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. We'll go like a little arc and then around the letter C. That one got a little close. And then around here. And we made it back to the beginning. Yay. <laughs> All right. So let's, um, I'm going to remove some pins here. Okay. Let's do something now. What should I do now? This is where I get confused, like how to get in and out of places. Why don't we just like practice our swirls a little bit? Oh gosh, I'm so bad at patterns, you guys. Let's let's do it. I just never know how to get in and out of these things. They freak me out. Now what? <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Uh, I think let's turn those into petals quick. There, I think I saved it. <laughs> Dang swirls. All 
All right, so let's try another one. I know this is probably not the greatest view here. I'm gonna angle you guys again so you can see a little bit more. I don't know, hopefully that's, that's helpful. We'll figure this out as we, as we go here. And I know it's strobing a little bit on, on TikTok, so hopefully it's not too horrible. All right, let's just start another one of these squiggles that I gotta get in and out of. I think I'm just gonna <laughs> I didn't really know what I was doing there but we turned it into some petals I'm gonna have to look I'm gonna have to actually practice drawing these on um, on um, paper I think I'm really not good at them let's do a big one This is going to be a good warm-up piece, though. We'll echo these guys a little bit. And maybe let's just work our way back around. Maybe I can get a squiggle in here and out of, get out of it again. pause right there let's get rid of um, some of these pins I'm just tossing the pins underneath me uh, let's see let's add petals to this one So I don't think I'm gonna have to worry this close to the edge because this will all be cut off. So I'm gonna just try and get myself back back in the game here. You can use stitching line discs and use a pen and pencil to draw the design. Oh yeah, I, I need to, um, I just need to practice, really. Like that was an awkward shape. All right, let's remove some more pins. Thanks, Kimberly. <laughs> oh, it sounded like I was holding my breath. Definitely holding my breath. All right, let's... Um, I'm going to get around the top of this and then you guys will be able to see more probably. Let's remove a pile of pins. This is going to be a good starter one. And you know, we're making this pretty dense and uh, I definitely don't need to be doing doing it that densely, but
holding my breath again for sure. Like a oh, crazy, I don't know, but I like it. It's fun to do. Like I said, this is gonna be a good warm up, uh, just playing around bit. Ooh, we're taking all the guys off. So I'm almost done with this. I'm not gonna even bother really going to all these ends. I don't think just because. Um, just because, like, I don't need to. I'm going to be cutting it to an eight, eight and a half inch square. So uh, we'll be chopping a, a lot of it off. Oh, thanks so much, Micah. Or Mike is my cat. <laughs> yeah, so we finished stitching this guy yesterday and we're already able to quilt it, which is fun. Oh, yeah, the kitty is hiding behind the flowers. Exactly, Kimberly. All right, let's see if I can add a little swirl. Like, I really, literally, I just can't wrap my brain around doing these swirls. So I know this part is going to be pretty much cut off, but... It'll add to it. I got one more pin hiding in there. Let me get that. And then I think we're practically done. I might just come back up around here. Uh, we can get the, we could actually trim this down to eight and a half inches right away if we wanted to, but I think we'll just keep, keep quilting. I think we definitely have time for another one. And I think I'm going to end it right there. Let's take this off and let's see how we did. All right. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, Mickey. Is it Mickey or Mickey? It's my cat. All right. So here we are. Got some squirrels, swirly swirls, some flowers. I, I literally don't know how to get in and out and like make actual like pretty shapes with these swirls. I really, really need to practice those. Maybe that'll be an agenda for me for, for this project. So it did kind of take over the embroidery, uh, all this quilting, but I think that's kind of fun. It'll just be the look of the quilt a little bit, I think. And some of them can be uh, less dense than this. This is pretty dense stitching. Here's the back. I think the orange on the back looks really nice. Uh, yeah. So ultimately, like I said, this will get trimmed down to the uh, eight and a half inches. So all these ends are going to get cleaned up quite a bit. And oh, see now that that calls out the stitching um, a lot better right away. Now it just looks like a background pattern a little bit. It's kind of fun. Yeah, so.
so it's gonna get cleaned up as we as we trim it so awesome let's do another <laughs> all right here's the letter b um so now this one i did actually want to do flowers um maybe we do do like a flower sort of like how this was but then i just don't know how to get in and out of it yet so uh man i am gonna have to like really really um really uh sorry i'm reading a comment really have to think of how to get in and out of places practice on that amy says don't trim your quilt stitches oh may come undone um so i won't trim I, ultimately i will trim this down to eight and a half inches but uh i'll probably you know what i'll probably do is i'll trim it and then i'll probably sew around the edge right away so I think that's probably a good idea. I'll trim it, sew like an eighth of an inch around, and then, uh, um, or maybe I'll draw, maybe I'll draw the eight inches on, or the eight and a half inches, and then sew just within that, and then cut, something like that. And then, uh, um, ultimately, we'll be sewing it into the, uh, using that quilt as you go method, ultimately, so we, we'll do that. Um, so yeah. You can make another layer or fluff around the flower, like a second set of petals. Oh, that's a good idea. All right, so let's think about that. So yeah, almost like like a peony or something. So we could just kind of start, we could start with flowers. I'm just, <laughs> I have to draw it out in my head. And then we could just like do a second layer of flowers. Yeah, and then we could just bump out a little side flower and then maybe like a leaf. You know what, I think actually drawing it like that is gonna, is going to um, make it easier for me, like versus versus swirls. There's something about the swirls, like getting in and out of it and then trying to um, uh, figure out how to make it look good. Yeah, Paula, Paula says just practice over and over with pencil on paper to build muscle memory. I might actually have to trace how some other people do swirls just to like, until like, I know, like I literally know it's just one thing in my brain. Like I'm missing an aha moment of like, oh, when I go to that part, then I just always switch direction there. That's the clue. You know what I mean? Like there's something like that I'm missing with the swirls for sure. I know there's some, something there. So I think if I practice like drawing over other people's swirls, I'm hoping that that clicks with me and then I can do my own swirls but I think actual drawing things is going to be easier so let's let's just start with a flower and maybe we do start with a little squiggly flower in the middle and um, go from there so I like that so this little guy is going to be by a flower and I think we'll just start it right there oh I gotta bring my bring my needle my uh, thread up out of here there we are all right add a couple little stitches there so I did do this to um, oh this might have oh this is with that lighter color so I kind of like these flowers too just coming in and out a little bit but I just kind of traveled around the edge to get to the next, the next part. So it'll probably end up looking something a little bit similar to this with some leaves and stuff. I'm going to try and make this one not so dense too, but I don't quite know how I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go. How about that? Um, and you know what? I'm going to just full on get rid of pins that are going to be in my way already. Yeah, I think this one I'm not going to echo just because, <laughs> just to try something different. Your space was tight. Try a big swirl on a block without embroidery. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to, I think, trace some other people's stuff to just learn. All right, I'm going to start with a little squiggle in the middle. And I'm actually going to remove these just I'm gonna trim these right away so they're not in my way all right and now uh, we'll get kind of like petals coming out of there I'm 
I'm just thinking maybe I add like little leaves here. Like little like leafy stem bits. Alright, and let's get a next petal up. And I think I am going to get a little stem in here. Let's continue that stem, and uh, that's pretty much off the page, and then we'll come back up. Let's get the other side of this, this guy. Alright, so now I'm going to just kind of, let's see, I got to get out of here again. So, <laughs> I got a little bit of a flower thing going. Uh, Alley Kitten, yes, I am free, I am freehanding this and trying to figure out where the heck to go next, which is my problem. I, I have a really hard time figuring how to get in and out of motifs, uh, but we'll get better during this. Uh, your space was tight. Oh, wait. Uh... Hair markers are good. Oh yeah, for lines, because you're just kind of putting a groove. Um, so I might actually just travel on the outside of this. I know I made this flower like goofy now. Um, but I think I might just travel. Or we could do like some squiggles. Like I could just kind of go in and do some swirls, some like little swirls and then uh, start another flower in another like little quadrant or something. I'm just removing some more pins. I'll have to practice for next time and see if see if I improve on, on any of these. So we're just gonna like uh, we're just gonna quilt on these when we have extra time in the weeks that we work on these embroideries. Um, so we won't always be doing this. But yeah, I'm going to swirl, swirl my way out of here. Okay, so I kind of added a little swirl design. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. So now I'm going to kind of travel and do another flower. So I'm just going to travel at the top here. Let's just start with um, a leaf. I get too far let's remove the pins 
I know you guys can't see too well anymore. But we'll get it. So this one's going to be, I'm trying to make this one um, less dense than the other, other one. I'm doing another one down here. <laughs> I can tell I'm not breathing. Can you guys tell I'm in like full concentration mode tonight? I'm like not talking at all and I'm like not breathing. That's what I'm hoping to get better at as we continue these. I'm just going to swirl my way out of here again. All right. <laughs> I think we're going to call it right there. Again, I'm going to cut a pile of this off. Um, so we'll see what that looks like. Actually, maybe I'll just draw like on, uh, with a pencil, just, just what it'll look like. So anyway, so we'll lose like an inch on each side. Again, so all of this will be kind of cut off. So we got like a, a fun little bordery thing going here. <laughs> Hooey, man. This is just, this is great because it's definitely highlighting um, where I'm getting better and where I need, need work. Like, I feel like my stitches look a whole lot better than what they've done, than what they've been in a long time. Like, they look pretty even. I mean, you know, they're not totally even, but they look way better than I know when I started all of this stuff, um, all of this attempting to learn how to free motion quilt. But yeah, for me, I think it really is like the getting in and out of places uh, that I need to work on. But I'm actually kind of liking this. It's kind of like a weird uh, like decorative frame for this. I think it's kind of fun. And it will look so much uh, more cleaned up after we trim. I think it's just everything is going to get pulled together after we, after we trim these down to the real size. Okay, I really do like these flowers. All right, you guys, I think we have time to quilt the, the last one here. Uh, so here's our, our letter C, we got our letter B, and we got A yet. So uh, any ideas for the alligator? Um, maybe we do a little outline of him again. Um, you know, we could just do like straight lines to like, I mean, we could just practice some skills. I did, I always like the little, the like squiggle back and forth. Uh, we could just try and fill stuff like that. And then like, you know, maybe, maybe squiggles underneath him. And then on top we could do like, try those swirls again, but like the big long ones. So it looks like kind of sky. Yeah, we could do like little waves. That's that's what I'm kind of thinking, like these squiggles, those those like figure eights, I guess is what I'm thinking. Or we could just do Yeah, I like those figure eights. That would be that would be fun to practice those. Ooh, but we could do it in like a wave pattern, maybe. Uh 
Like, yeah, so I could just draw... Well, if this is getting cut off here... Like, we could draw... Like, I'm kind of just sketching with my pin here. We could have, like, I could fill this part, and then I could go underneath and fill this part. I think we'll do that. And maybe I'll just, like, try and get up in here, or little ones, or something. Or once I get here, maybe I'll just bounce around the A's and then come back. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And then... Uh, then do this bottom row, or maybe I'll do the bottom. Well, no, we'll start in the middle. We'll do that. And then I'll come back up and we could do like clouds up here or like horizontal sort of squiggles. I think we'll do that. Oh, do hor you guys are thinking horizontal. I was kind of thinking like just those vertical figure eights. I think it's going to go look swirly, but I'll do two rows so it'll look it'll look like I got a wave going on here. So I think I, I, I like that idea. Um, I haven't decided on the sky yet, but let's let's do that. So I'm gonna unpin. You know, I really don't need all these pins. I think just like I got this flannel that's holding, holding against the batting by itself really. And I don't know, we'll leave that one over there for now, but okay. Yep, so I got kind of my line. I'm gonna practice figure eight. Let me just draw one on. So like this, I'm thinking. Yeah, okay, okay, I, I got it, I think. <laughs> oh, that, my mom says long reads on the bottom and birds in flight at the top. Birds in flight. I could do like those little like letter M seagulls. <laughs> I don't know. Let's. I okay. I'm. I'm. I'm sold on. I'm. I'm not gonna do the super duper traditional water. I'm gonna do this. This. I'm gonna come in from this side. I'm gonna do this. These figure eights. This will be kind of like a fun. Like get back into. All the quilting, um, detail stuff, and uh, or like the quilting, styles, and then I'll come back, and figure out the sky. All right, I think we're ready. I'm gonna get my gloves on again. I gotta remember how to do them now. Okay, up and then down, all right. Okay, I'm going to get better at this as I go. mimic what I did over there, which is kind of weird. Alright, let me get rid of these guys. So then I'm gonna go a row down and do the same thing. So it'll kind of look like, kind of look like a wave. I'll draw it in a little bit more, and then most of it will be cut off at the bottom here anyway. So let's just get rid of all these. Yeah, let's just all, yeah, we'll just do a wave all the way to the bottom. Actually, let's do it at an arc, a little bit of an arc still. So I'm just gonna kind of draw that on. All 
right, so now we're off to the side again. So there we go. So I think that's kind of fun. So I'm just practicing. Let's 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 get good at this <laughs> throughout this quilt. Uh, all right, so now I gotta. I want to do the same thing over here. Oh, should I be tucking them in, or like should I be lining up with with these ones? Probably, huh? Like so, I should be aiming for these. Or should I be going like right in the middle of them? Probably in the middle. Oh man. Okay, so let's see, where do I start? I'm gonna just kind of angle down and come up, okay. And this is gonna be cut off, so I'm gonna just let it be cut off. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and get up in um, in the middle of where these other ones were. Uh, I should stop the machine when I uh, move my hands. <laughs> And now I'm just gonna keep going underneath here. That was a really bad one. We'll do a little bit on the bottom yet, and um, that'll be good. Okay, yeah, so I gotta just remember what direction to go. So most of these will be cut off, but I think some of the bottoms will be there, so it, it's an extension of the pattern. So now we have like kind of the imitation of water, uh, like swirls without it being like blatantly water, I think. Um, so now I need something for the sky and I think we should go like way airier. Uh, like, I don't even know if I'm capable of doing that, <laughs> but I don't know, maybe like one big swirl, like one gigantic swirl. which I'm bad at. Let's think about that. I could come up here. And yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> oh God. My nervous laugh for tonight. So I'm gonna travel up to the top there. Again, this will be cut off, so I don't need to worry about this. Ooh, and let's remove all our pins. So I really don't need much quilting for this either, right? Because um, it's going to be trimmed and sewn in um, to the quilt. 
um, quite a bit. So I think I can get away with like one big bloopy, windy kind of deal. I suppose we could come back and do some horizontal bits. Uh, we'll see. So let me let me like think about this again. And I gotta remember like we're cutting off a little bit here, but I do kind of want to go over it a little. So let's see. I'd come up like like so, and I'd get back out that way. And then we could kind of do some clouds, and I could fill in with clouds over here. Okay, we're doing it. Yeah, I'll be coming up at the top. So I'm going to kind of hug hug these birds a little bit. All right, coming out of the side here. Going to try and keep this angle going. I kind of remember how to do that. <laughs> that looks like that's that that works. But now what? <laughs> now do I do just add puffs to that and kind of puffs around and then it kind of looks like clouds or I think I can mimic it. Like I can I can echo it. Echo it and uh I have to think it through. So echoing it and we could. Oh man, I keep saying echo and our Alexa, our Alexa is, um, <laughs> I think I remember this happening last time we did this. Uh, our Alexa, we have, we've changed the name to echo because Alexa sounds too much like Alyssa and it keeps talking to me and why I'm like, why does it keep talking to me? It's because I keep saying echo. Um, all right. How is this process approach in hand sewing? Oh, so in hand sewing, I think I would definitely draw this out first. Um, and then, then, uh, yeah, then follow the line for sure. And we should do a hand quilting, um, one, one of these. So, all right, I'm going to echo this and yeah, l let's just add a little cloud here, but then I'm back over here again, which leaves me stuck. All right, I can get to here at least. <laughs> Actually, I could just shimmy on off out here, right? Yeah, and then let's add just some clouds and I'll bounce back. Like some petals. All right, that's not exactly it, but it got me in and out and I think it does the job. I'm calling it, let's see what it looks like. I definitely need to practice all of these traditional things but I'm kind of excited for that. It's been a while. Actually, it's only been like once, right? We tried all these like once during the, uh, during the Charming Chevrons quilt. So I think this is looking pretty decent. So I wanted it a little airier on top. And again, this is all gonna be chopped off. So it'll look more like a little scene, I think. Like that's kind of fun. And then this guy will be, this side will be chopped off too. Yeah, see now it's looking not too shabby. <laughs> Once you get rid of the edges, uh, that's, that's looking fun. 
All right. And this gets tucked under like so. Uh, yeah, all right. So I think we, we got our little start to this project going. So, all right, <laughs> we have the letter A. I This is going to be great because I need practice on all of this. And um, this is just, this is feeling good as like, what do I need to work on next sort of thing. So, all right, we got letter A. We have letter B and... We have letter C, and uh, theoretically, uh, we could start, um, once we have time again, we could start doing the quilt as you go process, start putting these together. I do have to cut all my sashing pieces for quilt as you go still, uh, and I think I'm going to do some like colorful, uh, colorful sashing, so that will help frame each of these pieces as well. But hey, I think it's going to look kind of fun. Just kind of putting them together as if they're in the quilt without the sashing. And yeah, this is going to be fun. All right, you guys. I'm going to scoot you on over here. All right, so, <laughs> hey, for uh, a first day of quilting this, I mean, we got three of these guys done. So, ooh, see, that's kind of cute from far away. You get the little swooshy swoosh. And it really is going to look good once they're once they're cleaned up a little bit, I think. Oh, see, now that looks like a whole scene right there. That's fun. All right, so we got the alligator, uh, the butterfly. That, too, I think the flowers are going to look really fun. And uh, um, the kitty cat. That was a nice, nice and dense one. I like that one, too. So, yeah, so this will be a fun uh, experiment, too, just to see how this quilting interacts with the embroidery through this whole process. I do think this is going to add some visual interest to the quilt as a whole because the quilt is going to be a lot of this muslin color. So to have all this texture and the different color thread, I think is going to be kind of fun. So we'll see how it keeps going here. Uh, yeah. And uh, next week we're going to be starting the dog embroidery. So the D comes after the C. And if we get that done early, we will uh, we will prep him for quilting and might as well quilt, quilt that guy too. So uh, maybe I'll have some practice by then. We'll see <laughs> uh, with some squiggles. Uh, so, all right. Thank you guys again. And uh, I will see you on Monday at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Have a lovely, lovely weekend. Good night.